Hey, what's up and welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and build a 3D muzzle flash. And what we're gonna do is create a new layer in our render comp. So choose layer new solid. And uh, we'll call this uh, particles. And uh, we'll make it orange. And we'll choose okay. And then we're gonna choose effect, simulation, particle world. And so this creates some cool particles. And we're gonna use this to create our fire and go to you know the time when uh, the gun is about to fire and turn the birth rate down to zero set a keyframe we're gonna move forward two frames just a uh, page down we'll move that and uh, we're gonna increase this maybe about 3.5 and then we'll go forward two more frames and then set it down to zero and if we hit U you can see our keyframe so it turns on and it stops we want it to be pretty quick just like that and now we want to play with the physics we want to turn the gravity down we don't want the particles falling like that and we're also going to change the particle type to motion polygon and so we get some little directional uh, triangles and uh, that looks good actually probably want to turn this up to maybe 10 Want a few more polygons and we'll turn the velocity down some we don't want it getting too large and that looks pretty good okay also bring the size of the particles down just a small bit all right this is a good starting point for our muzzle flash i'll actually turn this up a little bit more maybe 14 just so we have a few more particles to work with and then we go ahead and shut off the grid, set that to off, and so we just see the muzzle flash. And then I'm going to add a blur to our particles. So effect, blur, fast blur, and we'll increase that just a bit, just like that, maybe four. And then we're going to add another blur called blur vector blur. It's called CC vector blur. Click on that. And it's pretty interesting how this works. I'm gonna solo this so we can see what it's doing. When we increase it, it creates a very interesting looking uh, blur. It's kind of like, you know, mixes it together and stuff. And here we can go ahead and increase the size of the particles so that we can get the desired look here. We want to go for somewhat of a tendril fire look, but of course we're not quite there yet. Now let's go ahead and add another effect. So we'll select the layer, effect, blur, CC radial fast blur and that kind of adds like a little zoom on it and uh, we'll put it just to the side here and then we're going to add another effect so we'll choose effect distort turbulent displace and we'll add that and if we animate the evolution you can see it kind of creates some wild animation but if we bring the size really 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 small you can see it creates, you know, kind of a fiery, a fiery look. And so we'll bring that down low and we'll set it like that. And I may even put the radial fast blur after it and then add another turbulent displace. I'll duplicate it here, control D and put it after it. And that way we just have some extra um, intensity on that, you know, whole business there. So that's going to be the basis for our muzzle flash and we're gonna have sort of a fiery look now the other thing we'll do is we'll come up to the top and let's set the physics gravity we'll turn that down to maybe 0.02 that way our particles don't fall so much and we might even lower the velocity to 0.2 okay so now we have the basic idea of the muzzle flash what I'm gonna do is choose effect color correction tint and that's gonna decolorize it and then I'll choose effect color correction curves and we're gonna bring up the alpha to make it a little more intense and then we'll go to the red channel and bring up the red and we'll go to the blue channel and bring that down and then go to the green channel and just kinda of create a curve to essentially mix uh, mix them together a bit The more red, uh, you know, the more reddish orange, the better. And uh, you'll see why once we 
start compositing um, how that's going to work. Just uh, playing with the levels here until we get something that uh, looks nice and strong. And uh, again, we'll bring that blue channel down to give it more of an orange color. And uh, this is going to be sort of the basic, the basic shape. And uh, I'm going to duplicate it. And we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to scale it down. And uh, move that there. Change it to additive. Change the mode there just to add. You can see it starts getting a little more fiery. You shut this off and now we can see our video. Now, the one other thing I'll do just temporarily is add some color correction to the background layer. And this is just because we know the layer is going to be color time to be a little darker. And it's better to... Uh, you know, have a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like so that you can set your other elements up correctly. And uh, here's our two particles. We're going to put them right here in front of the uh, gun. And uh, go ahead and play that back just here. Okay, so this part looks pretty good. And uh, it gets a little bit red towards the end. But we'll go and fix that during the compositing stage and fix the colors and stuff. What I want to do now, though, is take our two particle layers here and pre-compose them. So I'm going to choose Layer, Pre-Compose. I'm going to call this Muzzle Flash. And OK. And I'll actually Alt double click, open it up, and we'll even make another copy and scale it down even more to kind of create the core part of this flash. And like I said, the red comes on pretty strong. And we can probably fix that with an adjustment layer of some color. We'll just do color correction, tint, and then we'll add curves, color correction, curves. And they'll bring the tint amount down a bit. And we'll bring the blue channel in, give it more of a golden color. And again with the green channel, make a slight adjustment so we get the colors right. Now the adjustment layer, we want to fade it on as uh, as the layer gets uh, redder. So about here in the middle of it, we'll just turn the opacity to zero, set a keyframe, move forward, and then just turn it up. And then just before it starts turning red too much, we'll kind of fade that on, and that way the muzzle flash fades out nice and smoothly. So I'll just take a quick look. We'll render that out. Okay, so now we've got a very nice energy looking effect. And, uh, you know, this can be used, of course, for other things, you know, besides a muzzle flash, although this is going to work uh, really well once we composite it in completely. Um, the other thing we want to do is create some smoke coming out of this muzzle flash, also. Now, a quick way to do that, if we go to the project, I'm going to duplicate the muzzle flash comp, edit, duplicate. And then we'll call this muzzle flash comp, hit return, and we'll call this smoke. And then we just open that up. And we'll uh, add another adjustment layer and do some of our own effects. We'll do color correction, do tint, and then we'll add a blur, fast blur. And then we'll do a turbulent displace again. So we'll turn that off for a second. And so we want to turn the blur up because we want this to be uh, smoke. So we'll blur it out here. And then we'll turn this on, and we'll bring the size down. Play with the amount here. And we want to animate the evolution of it so that it kind of moves just ever so slightly. So Alt-click on the evolution, and we'll type time times I don't know, 200. That might be a bit much. But again might be just right and then also we're going to animate the fast blur from the beginning of it we'll set a keyframe and then at the very end of it we'll turn the blur amount up and that way it uh, fades out of the blur and then we can start the blur actually we zoom in here hit U start the blur at zero and that way blurs out as it grows. And you can also uh, set it to F9 and so that 
it takes a while before it blurs out completely. And we can also add that vector blur. I really like this effect because it just gives everything sort of a natural, a natural look. And instead of going in on it, we're just going to come out on it just a bit. Kind of gives it a, a smokier look. And I'll go ahead and preview this element. Okay. So now we got a very nice uh, smoke element. And if we go to the back particle, and this is the largest one here in the back, and go to the physics. And for the gravity, we can set it to like negative 0 0.02. And that way it rises a bit. And then if we go back to our main comp, the smoke just has a, a little bit more of a natural uh, flow. Okay, now we have two elements done. Now we're going to create one more in this tutorial. And so I'll go back to the render comp. I'm going to create a new solid. And we'll make it uh, light orange. And we'll choose simulation particle world. And again, we'll set the world off. And then uh, we want to make it also kind of an abrupt launch of particles. So turn the birth rate down to zero. Set a keyframe, move forward two frames, page down, turn this up to 15, and then move forward two frames, and then turn it down to zero. Particle type, try polygon, this actually might work also. Yeah, this actually would probably work better, because then they're kind of more randomly uh, dispersed. Now that's a few too many particles, so we'll set this down to five. Maybe even a few less, maybe like three. So these are kind of like micro particles that are going to kind of break off of parts of the bullet and just kind of fly around. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So 1.5 ultimately seems like a good number. So let's go and clean it up a bit. I'll choose Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and we'll do Effect, Stylize, Glow. And Effect, Matte, Simple Choker. And I'm actually going to put the choker right after the particles and increase that. And that's just going to kind of give our shapes uh, a little something different. And then go to the curve channel, go to the alpha, and boost it up. And maybe actually bring the simple choker after the alpha. And then we just have some irregularly shaped particles. And uh, the glow, we'll set it to AB color. And we'll do yellow, yellow orange, and sort of a reddish orange. We'll pump that up a bit. And so you can see it kind of looks like a hot little particle. And if we want, we can also go back into the particles and add a few more. Maybe just set it to two. I want this to be pretty subtle, but it's kind of a cool effect. And so this is just going to be a spec preview, so I'll hit zero, take a look. So the microparticles are going a little too fast and they're falling a bit quick. So we'll come up here to the particle world and uh, we'll turn the velocity down, first of all. And we'll turn the gravity up to 0.1. And that way they just come out slow and uh, that works actually a lot better. Also, I want the longevity of the particles to be about three. Because these particles, we don't want them to be going away um, until the very, very end of the composite. And actually, we're going to fade them out um, in kind of a special way. So I just want to kind of get the, uh, the general idea, just like that. And so I'll take this particle layer. Um, this is the sparks, essentially. And uh, pre-compose it. So Layer, pre-compose, call this Sparks. And then I'll move all attributes into the new composition, choose OK. And then I'll go ahead and just uh, delete both of the elements here, right out. OK, so we built all three elements. And I'm going to take the Sparks, the Smoke, and the Muzzle Flash. And we're going to drop it into the pre-comp folder, keep it organized. And in the next tutorial, we're going to have to do a little bit of work because we're going to add a slide action to our gun, and that way, It'll look like uh, this kicks back just before it shoots out. So we'll see you in a bit.